Hey guys, Pevin here and today I want to talk about the Shad CN front-end UI compact library and how I use it in Figma itself. So if you don't know Shad CN UI compact library, it's uh, as I said a, a library for front-end developers. Uh, it essentially won the front-end uh, UI compact war. So most of the developers use this and most developers know how to use it and it's very intuitive. It has lots of options to um, change colors, change uh, components and even update any specific component if they don't like the calendar UI or calendar component itself you can update it. It's very modular like that. You can update the charts, anything is it's easily extensible and updatable. So that's Shadzian. It's mostly for front-end development but in Figma I use it with help of this uh, UI kit that I have it in the community library. So yeah, if you go to Figma community and search for Mina UI, that's the name, you'll get this. And this has all the theming, all the components, everything from the uh, Shadzian UI library. So let me, so this is a sample project that I have here and it uses the uh, everything from Shadzian anyway. So I have the UI which is all the screens for the web app, for a web app that I have called Teak. And if you go to components, this is where you'll get all the uh, Shadzian UI components. So accordion, all out, everything. And if you see the buttons and the calendar components, everything has a primary orange theme, right? If you wanted to change that, you can come into variables and first you will have all the theme, theming variables and then you will have spacing, breakpoint, radius, everything that comes with the tailwind design system which is what Shadzian uses. Here we will have primary which is orange 600. So I mapped primary to orange 600 and everything here has primary of orange 600. So I will just change it to something like uh, maybe blue. 600 and yeah it changes everywhere maybe in the UI also yeah in the UI also it has updated if you can see right here all the primary orange colors has been updated to blue I'll just revert that back yeah so this using this theming mechanism is very easy to go from light mode to dark mode if I just wanted to add a dark mode I'll just come in here uh, the, the uh, changes as light mode and uh, add other variables for dark, dark mode. So it's that easy because you have the theming capability here. And then we have the design system. So if you uh, duplicate this file, you'll have all the components, all the design system, uh, everything. The design system has all the colors from Tailwind, all the other box shadows, blurs, opacities, the typography, everything. These all comes from uh, Tailwind and Shadzian and you will get some access to some assets also. So yeah, all of this is free in um, the Figma community. So you can just go in and search for Mina UI and you will find it. So one of the main benefits of using a theme, um, theming system like Tailwind, like Shadzian is, so if I select the sidebar here, as you can see everything is themed to uh, theme, theme, border, theme, background, theme, uh, primary theme, foreground, theme, accent. So everything has a specific um, theme variable attached to it. So if I just, if I wanted to change the border color here, I'll just go to the uh, variable system and I'll search for border. If I wanted something again like, uh, like an orange border here, uh, I could just change it. And everywhere in the whole app, the border changes. I'll just revert that for now. Yeah, everywhere um, the border changes. So things like that, it it gets very easier with um, use, use, using Shadzian um, theming system. And the best feature from this is that your developers, when you hand off these designs to developers, your developers can also use the same um, theming naming system 
in in their front end app also so they'll also use it in these theme background theme foreground everywhere and they'll intuitively know if you haven't designed some page or something else they'll intuitively know okay this will have the foreground color this will have the background color so and this will have the primary color so it's very easy to know uh, for the front end designers also so yeah so yeah all these pages will have only this much colors and i've added some colors for the uh, some other pages these colors comes from uh, tailwind tailwind so we'll have theme first and then come base colors and then all the grays and then all the colorful colors yep so try this out go to the figma community page and check out this mina ui package mina ui page here and uh, you'll get all the components and you'll get uh, um, all the variables and the textiles and everything so that uh, you can create a new website web, web tab or even landing page with this and um, hopefully you will have a easy handoff process with your developers too yeah that's all bye bye